We'll go ahead and move on to Thomas Dunn. Go ahead, Thomas. Uh, Coach, can you just describe uh, what went into the decision to start Ben Finley and uh, how that played out over the course of the game? Well, uh, we didn't, you know, last week uh, we felt like, you know, we needed to do a better job at the quarterback position. Uh, we wanted to open it up for competition again. Uh, you know, getting the ball to the right spots in the run game, RPO game, in the pass game. And, um, yeah, we th that position, along with most every other position, didn't play well enough tonight. Okay, we'll move it on. Uh, others with questions? Yeah. In the room? Go ahead, Jim McGill. Uh, Coach, when, when Ben was obviously struggling, throwing a lot of interceptions, what was the thought process in sticking with him as long as you did into the third quarter? Well, listen, um, we felt like coming into the game, we're going to have to f hit some downfield throws. Um, you know, Ben, we felt like had done a good job of that in practice. Obviously, the turnovers in the game were costly. Um, that position, uh, you know, now basically both guys have two games under their belt, and it's unsettled. I mean, it's we've got to find more consistent play at that position, and uh, that's the one that gets the most attention for for obvious reasons. And uh, I think Sam's got a a big upside. He's still a very young player and learning to play the quarterback position. Ben has played more. Uh, obviously, the decision making. Uh, knowing where to go with the ball wasn't as good as uh, it should have been or we expected it to be tonight. Um, he made some good throws, but obviously the turnovers were so costly. So, Obviously, the turnovers put the defense in a tough position, but giving up 45 points and a, and a half is still a big output. Was there anything you could put a finger on that, that led to so much scoring on Washington's part or just playing talent on their part? Well, uh, I mean, we could go through each and every drive, and I could pinpoint something. So uh, it was a pick, a pick six, a punt return. Uh, they went down and drove for a score. They had a third down conversion on an empty, or not an empty. I think it was an empty. Um, we didn't get him on the ground. We missed a tackle. I mean, there's going to be 8,000 things. So we could go through each and every drive. And the defense, we didn't uh, win enough up front. We didn't win enough in the back end. Uh, he's a very accurate passer. They're very good receivers, and we got outplayed. So, uh, man, zone, pressure, no pressure. I mean, yeah, we got outplayed. Okay, the questions in the room. Okay, we'll go over back to Zoom. We'll go to uh, Jake Curtis. Uh, yeah, Justin, uh, I think I understood. Is the quarterback, starting quarterback situation unsettled for the Arizona State? Yeah, I couldn't give you an answer right now. Um, I, I believe both those guys have the ability to play winning football. Uh, obviously, the turnovers tonight were very costly. Um, ben threw some good balls uh, out there. Sam uh, can do some great things with his feet. He's got to be more consistent in the decision-making process. I can't tell you we have a starting quarterback right now. Uh, we all want somebody to... Uh, take the reins there. We got to continue to help those guys uh, perform, and that's on us as coaches. Uh, that that all starts with me to make sure we're giving them every opportunity to to learn from a mistake and grow as a player, put them in good spots. Uh, but I can't tell you that we would have a, a starter uh, for next week yet. Uh, where there's going to be a lot to discuss and a lot to dissect. Okay, we'll go to Kenzo Fukuda from the Daily Cow. Hello, Coach. Um, moving forward, uh, so what things are you looking for specifically when it comes to deciding who's the starting quarterback for the foreseeable future? Yeah, decision. Ultimately, ultimately, who helps us move down the field and put the ball in the end zone? You know, run game decisions, RPO decisions, uh, pass game, just throwing it to the right guy and throwing it accu accurately. Um, we also got to do. We got to improve up front, and we got to improve at the receiver position. So, uh, all those positions can also help the quarterback, but. Uh, at the end of it, uh, the quarterback is going to get a lot of attention, and deservedly so, but that guy's got to help us move the ball down the field and put the ball in the end zone and make great decisions with the ball uh, when those decisions are to be made. So uh, we, 
we've just got to continue to work and get better there. I think Jeff Rod is having a sound issue go off, so I'll ask his question. Uh, if the turnovers and the punt return pretty much determine the outcome, uh, did they return the outcome, and how you evaluate the team's performance otherwise? Uh, those were very uh, difficult uh, to overcome. You basically uh, you spot a, a team like that 17 in the first quarter, I believe it was, and then, you know, defensively we didn't do uh, do much to to slow them down either. So I, I can't say that any one unit played well enough, and that is coaches and players and ultimately me. You know, it's my responsibility to make sure the team can play up to their ability and uh, have a chance to to win the game. And we just, you know, from the pick six and then the punt, we have a guy down there. We, we couldn't quite finish it and make the play on that. And then, you know, it just seemed to – we we couldn't gain any momentum. We, we had a couple drives there where we threw the ball, had some good runs and made – you know, a couple, uh, Jeremiah made some really nice catches, but just not consistent enough on offense. And then obviously on defense, not, not able to get enough stops uh, – on third or fourth downs, or you know the deep ball, we, we just uh, we weren't quite able to make any any plays on the ball when we needed to. So it was, you know, that was a team loss and coaching and playing. Uh, you know, everybody owns that. Okay, anybody with the final question for coach, either in the room. Go ahead, Jim. Hard to latch onto a lot of positives after a big loss, but we talked last week about um, the inability to to complete the long ball, and you had several nice long completions, including touchdowns tonight. Between that and the way Sam played the last couple of drives, does it give you some level of optimism for moving forward next game? Um, yeah, we're going to look for the things that we can build upon. Um, you know, uh, it's hard to see those right now. Yeah, there was a couple drives early in the game. You know, late in the game, the dynamics change, the players change. I was proud of Sam for going out and competing in there. Um, we just, there's just everybody, we have to make a uh, significant jump in our performance. And it's not out of reach by any means, but we've got to be much more consistent in, in our play, you know, uh, really at every level. And that's what it's going to take to win and play winning football. And we've seen moments of it tonight. We didn't see much of it all at all. Uh, but that's what it's going to take to win in this conference. And uh, it's going to be, you know, the the response is going to be everything. The response from our team, our coaches, everybody starting tomorrow uh, is going to be critical to our, our, se our season. I mean, this is a big, big moment for us. Okay, we'll go with Jeff Ferrato. Jeff, I think you got audio now. Go ahead. Uh, we discussed it. Uh, again, it was going back to what we thought we needed to do to get back in the game, uh, in the past game, some of that stuff. I think, you know, Sam came in and did a good job late in the game. You know, we got to do a better job just decision-making in the runs, uh, RPOs, pass game uh, at that position. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I think both those guys are different. Uh, they both have different strengths, but we have to get more – uh, out of them, and that starts with me and us as coaches, and then making sure we're giving them every opportunity to, to improve. And um, you know, I, I've mentioned this before. Sam's a very young player and young quarterback, and we got to help him grow. And Ben's played a bit more, and we expect him uh, to make certain plays. And obviously, I think Ben uh, would tell you tonight was not not a great night for him. He made a couple good throws, no doubt, but we we got to do better there and protect the football. Okay, well, the last question. Go, Jeff, go ahead with one follow-up. Go ahead. Did you have any update on the various guys that got bagged up tonight? Carlton, Vatikani, Finley, and maybe Tron just got up at the end? I have not talked to the trainers yet, so I do not. All right, we'll have a final question here from Kenzo Fukuda with the Daily Cal. Thank you. Um, with Mateen kicking the last, last extra point tonight and stuff like that, he struggles throughout the game. Is Michael Lucker still starting to That'll be something we discuss. Uh, we'll continue to evaluate every 
position player uh, on the team to make sure we're giving ourselves the best opportunity. Uh, we need guys to continue to compete, and we need guys to improve. I mean, that's obvious after watching us tonight. We, we have to improve across the board. Um, I don't know that there's any position where we've arrived. I mean, can't play a game like that and, and think really at any position we, we've done that. So we believe in our players. We believe in their uh, capacity and ability to improve. But it, at the kicking position, we have to we have to get better. And we'll evaluate that and talk about it in the coming days.